So Mod My Mods actually contacted us at the Hardware Labs team to see if we were interested in delitting a 8700K with liquid metal. I obliged. So I sent it off to them a week and a half later. I got it back and the results are pretty good. The liquid metal that we used was the Ice Frost Extreme from Alpha Cool. So they delitted it for me and uh, applied the first uh, layer of the uh, liquid metal, replaced the crappy tim that they used at Intel and put on liquid metal. That's cool. Um, and then they sent along this as well too to see if I wanted in between the IHS and my water block. So I did. <laughs> Let's look at the preliminaries. Uh, I sent it off. I did a 8700K stock and then an 8700K overclock to five gigahertz. So it's 5.035 at 1.3, I think one, two volts. So let's get to it. All right, so let's talk about some of those things that I had already set up. So 8700K uh, running at 1.168 uh, volts. Um, this is a screenshot, mind you, at 4.3 gigahertz. Did a Cinebench run of 13.99, and that's where I got my 100% load. Um, Asus software here is a little off, so that's why I'm going to basically take hardware monitor. Um, the package at that time was running at 63 degrees Celsius with a high of 65. So basically to, to replicate this test, I've set it up already over here, already on my other monitor so that we could run it in real time. So uh, again, all, I, all that was done was the liquid metal and the delitting. So already right off the bat, we're already at 4.4 gigahertz on most cores and <laughs> we're already sitting a lot less than the high was 36 when I was loading up, but 23 degrees right now. So that right now is insane but this is at stock before load so let's put a load on it all right so now we are at a hundred percent load sitting at 44 degrees celsius um at 4.3 gigahertz um getting through the test here 45 now All right, just finishing up this and 1368. So pretty close to the 1399 I got on my stock frequency, but that, or my stock score, but um, let's go ahead and overclock it to five gigahertz and uh, we'll check it out and I'll try and match the V core as best I can. All right, so here is the overclock settings. Again, 8700K, we're at 5.2 gigahertz, uh, running 1.3, I'm sorry, 1.312 volts. Um, highest I got on this one was 84 degrees Celsius at this time running a little bit over five gigahertz. So moving the camera over in real time, it is running right now. We'll do a real test here again. Uh, when this loads up, this will be at 1.312 volts. Again, 5.2 gigahertz and it's the all core testing we're running right now about 24 for the package 23 22 in some cores this is when i just did a uh, just a run so let's do another run all right scene 57 58 degrees 58 56 100 percent utilization 3.12 volts. It's pretty much hanging out around 58 and there's 59 there. But still, we're looking at, from a load perspective, we're looking at 84 degrees minus 59. That's 25 C difference. Just by delitting and applying two layers of Ice Frost Extreme from Alpha Cool. So pretty cool stuff. I love this stuff. Um, I've never worked with liquid metal before, so this is my same experience. Uh, so I'm pretty happy to see this. So I want to kick it up one more notch. I didn't try and overclock it even more, but what I am going to be doing here is moving my 
Moving it off of the BC-1 from Streetcom and more on to the Lian Li overclock.net test bench that I made. So um, this one actually has two 360 millimeter radiators on it. Uh, it's pretty impressive, 2D5 pumps. It's got two Maelstrom uh, 300 milliliter D5 pump combo units, uh, pump res combo units with quick disconnects over there too. So pretty sweet. Um, I think it's gonna cool a little bit more and be a little quieter at the same time. So let's see how high we can clock her. All right, so we are back. Uh, there, here's a screenshot of my little adventure into north of five gigahertz. So um, I basically got to 5.2 gigahertz in this screenshot with 1.36 volts. Um, and then the highs, realistically, I mean, the max I seen was 61 degrees on the package. So really impressive. This is with running on the overclock.net test bench. Uh, with two 360 millimeter radiators from Swift Tech and two uh, Maelstrom D5 pump res combos. So really a lot of cooling is being thrown at, the, thrown at this 8700K. So um, if I go over here, I was able to achieve uh, 50, uh, 5.3 gigahertz. Yes, I'm running a little high in the voltage here, 1.5. Uh, that was more of a suicide run. Um, I've since backed it down to 1.45, pretty much the uh, V-Core max of the 8700K. That's where I feel comfortable with. Uh, temperatures were pretty acceptable at 77 degrees Celsius, 79 on the package here. Um, but really, really impressive. A 5.3 gigahertz chip is possible. So um, yeah, it's just it, absolutely crazy. 5.3 gigahertz was possible with delitting liquid metal on the uh, chip itself, put the IHS back on, and then liquid metal in between the water block and the IHS. So uh, just wanted to share that with you guys, what a delitting and liquid metal can achieve. So with that said, I'm Blue Devil. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.